Yo, how's it going on everybody? It's me, Mario, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make left click and right click detection using the new interaction entity. So before we get into this video, uh, for those who just want this to be added into their world and don't want to know how to, how to actually make this, uh, you're welcome to just download the data pack in the description and add it into your world. And yeah, now this is for the nerds who want to know how this actually works. Hey guys, Editor Mario here. Something very important that I forgot to say. If you're just downloading the data pack to get the custom item that I'm holding right now, uh, you have to use this function. It's just a slash function and click detection get item. Very important that you use it. And yeah, enjoy the video. So if you've stayed to watch this video, you're a nerd like me, and you uh, wanted to figure out how the interaction entity actually works. So it actually took me a while to figure this thing out, but basically, if we take a look at it and just summon an entity right here, summon an interaction entity, uh, open my hitbox, we can see that this is a block, basically. It's a block with a hitbox, but it doesn't actually, you know, works as a block. You can't stand on it, but you can only detect its hits box. So basically, uh, if I take this data of the entity we have right here, data get entity, this is the entity that we're looking at. Wait, it's getting nighttime. So if we take the data we have right here, uh, we can see that it currently doesn't have any interaction with it. But the moment that I left click, we can see, and if we get the data back again, let me just clear this, we can see that we have player attack. So attack player, which is a uh, tag that we can use to detect basically left clicks. And if we right click it, which you can actually see, but I just did that and clear that. We have also interaction, you see? So we have attack and interaction. And these two tags are what allows us to detect the hitbox which I currently have right above me. The way that this works is if we take a look at the first set of commands, I've set up a dummy scoreboard to uh, detect every time I click on an interaction entity with this specific tag right here. So interaction um, as interaction on attacker. We now have this new option in execute commands called execute on. So as we see, we can see here we have attacker just like we had in the data we got. So execute on attacker, run scoreboard players, add at S, left click, one. So it just adds one to the scoreboard of left click. And if we move up to the next command, we can see that it detects once again on the interaction entity, but this time we wanted to see that if an entity with, a le with left click one or more, which basically detects if you clicked it, on a distance of less than one, it will kill the entity. But why do we actually want the entity to die? Well, the reason for that is because if we were to detect it, I'm gonna take this command real quick and have this interaction entity right here. So I'm gonna take this command and I'm gonna just copy this over here and I'm going to put this over here on another scoreboard that I have and it's called interacting. So this is another inter uh, scoreboard that I made before. If we, we can see that it's currently at zero and if I left click this, uh, whoops, if I left click this, so if I left click six, you can see that this goes up infinitely unless I kill the entity, right? Then it stops. So we don't want this scoreboard to go up infinitely, which is an issue. So the way to uh, stop this from happening is by just killing the entity, right? It's as simple as that. You kill the entity. I couldn't figure out another way, but I'm sure this can be done way more efficiently by managing some data tags and stuff like that. But that's not the way I did it. So basically we kill the entity because we want it to stop the interaction from going on forever. So now we, we have detected that the entity is dead and that the score is one. So now we can add our command, which would be left click, right? Just as easy as that. Uh, as scoreboards of left click equals one, we just wanted to say left click. And then we want to summon a brand new entity, right? Simple as that, because we uh, killed our interaction before and that's what you can see right above my head. That's the new interaction and oh, I broke it. That's what we have. That's basically the one that's right here. And basically, um, we've summoned a new one that always goes above me, all right? It always goes above me because I don't want to lose it. But basically, let's go back to the commands. We summon a brand new entity. 
and then this is the final command which re which resets everything so as soon as my scoreboard of left clicked is one and unless entity tag distance one or less so if it's not here this command will happen which sets the left click to zero and the way to make right click detection is just copy all of these commands and make a new scoreboard call it something like right click detection or right click and just change it to target all right just change it to target uh, the rest of these commands are what makes the entity teleport right above me so if I was to disable these commands, this entity would just stay right there without moving. But basically, as you can see, uh, execute as interaction with a specific tag at myself. It will teleport the um, it will teleport the entity to th any player basically holding this item right here, which is the paper item, which uh, um, basically is what makes it go like this onto me so I can detect it basically as you can see it kills itself and summons itself right above me and basically when I hold this it just teleports to me and this command does the exact opposite as you can see there's just a exclamation oh whoops my bad right here there's an, an exclamation mark which just makes it works uh, work the opposite way so it's when I'm not holding it so yeah anyways if you understood anything from this tutorial Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.